Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that we can't tell if your PC has enough space to continue installing Windows 11. Try reinstalling setup and hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I want to point out is that you do need to have at least 64 gigabytes of free hard drive space in order to install Windows 11. And if you have less than that, you will not be able to proceed with the installation. I believe there are ways to get around that, but that's not what today's tutorial is about. And honestly, would you even want to run Windows 11 on a very small hard drive? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully clear up some space on your computer, see how large your hard drive is to begin with, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in disk cleanup, best match, we're going to back with disk cleanup, go ahead and open that up, select OK, and then delete files. This is just cleaning up some unnecessary junk files in your computer. And there will be something else we'll go back into here as well. So once that's done, go ahead and open up this cleanup one more time. And this time we're going to select cleanup system files. So Windows Update Cleanup is usually a pretty big area for files. So basically Windows keeps copies of all installed updates from Windows Update, even after installing new versions of updates. Windows Update Cleanup deletes or compresses older versions of updates that are no longer needed and taking up space. So this can be a very big source of hard drive space consumption for a lot of people. So in our case, it's about 700 megabytes. So we're going to select OK and then delete the files. And once that is completed, you can open up the search menu, type in programs, best match, go back with add or remove programs. Go ahead and open that up. So you might want to go down this list, or you can also sort by how large the file is. So if you use large to small, if there's programs you no longer use on your computer, you can uninstall them to free up hard drive space. So for example, OneDrive, I don't use OneDrive. If we select the three dot icon next to it and select uninstall, uninstall it. You can see that's going to free up over 300 megabytes worth of space. And again, a lot of you guys should have a whole list of different programs in here that you're welcome to uninstall. And then once they're uninstalled, they should no longer appear on the list. And then you would want to restart your computer. And then you may also want to consider upgrading your hard drive or getting a secondary hard drive storage space in your computer as well. Adding a secondary drive that you may want to consider installing Windows on might be a viable option. Hard drives are pretty cheap nowadays, so you may want to look into that option as well. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.